Yo, hello, it's Povikos from Editing Visuals here, and today I will show you how to create OPM looks, OPM glitches, and even OPM text. And also, I am really hyped to announce that I have just released a highly requested OPM presets pack, which includes over 30 plus presets that give you OPM glitches, OPM texts, and really crazy OPM looks. Also, you can use code Povikos to get $5 off on the OPM presets pack. Anyways, let's begin. Alright, so we have a Playboy Cardi clip here, where he's just bouncing or something, and then we have a Ken Carson clip where he's doing something with his hair and to make opium effects you can start by adding threshold and just when you add it also looks pretty opium at the start but to make it look cooler we can add signal if you don't like this error right here uh, we can actually get it off by going to luma modulation and ticking off the tape errors and to basically make these really high quality opium effects you can just really mess around with the settings here like make the signal strength like so let's say like 16 and, and then we can like make the luma noise to like 12 to give more of that noise and it will look really cool and the next effect we can add is s flicker in a lot of opium music videos it flickers a lot so we can set it to like 0.4 here and another effect i really like to add here is noise I like to make it like 40%. Uncheck use color noise. And another cool effect I like to add is S grain. And here we can make the color amplitude to like 0.12 and color frequency to like 140. And this will create a really cool opium effect. I really recommend to mess around more of the settings here. But this is basically how you make this effect. Uh, another effect I like to add here is like mosaic. And here you can make it like four, like 300 here, 300 here. And we can just like drag it up like somewhere. On top of one of these effects. And also to damage this a bit more, we can add S JPEG damage. This will be a really cool opium effect. And we can save it as a preset by going to one of the effects. Press Ctrl A, go to animation, save animation preset. And here you can call it like opium effect uh, i guess dark for this one but if you guys want to add these effects very fast and very easy and have a lot of different variations i have just a pack for you if you download my opium presets pack you will get this this is work in progress there might be more here but first when you go here you'll get opium presets so here are all of the presets right here it's actually 43 presets but for the sake i just say 30 plus you'll also get a project file which we'll talk about later but when you get the pack you can type opium you can go to opium presets and just open it like this fully and we can start adding whatever so for example opium 11 v2 super cool effect it's like opium crt for this one i tried to create like a really damaged opium crt and look just how it looks on ken carson and you can just keep dragging and dropping like for example opium 1 v2 uh if you think these effects are a little bit too dark or you want to make it a bit cooler you can press ctrl i and go to the opium path and here i have this damage glint deep glow what you can do with it is right click on it go to blending mode and make it divide and this is the look you will get really damaged you can press t and you can like lower the opacity like just so like for example like 50 percent or maybe for this one 70 looked kind of cool and you will get a really cool look i think uh, this is just if, if you want to damage it here we can add like other effects like for example opium 10 and if we add this overlay right here this is the look you will get one of my favorite pieces are like opium 2 you instantly get the black bars a really cool preset is opium 4 now opium 4 i need to tell you guys that for opium 4 it's very damaged so it works on clips that don't, don't have much of a background for example this can carson clip uh, it has three different versions for this effect because i just couldn't stop making these effects and now i need to teach you guys how to use 720 x 480 or 480 x 270 effects 720 x 40 what does that mean well that means that it should be used in a composition that has the height of 720 and the the width of 480 but let's for example add opium 5 here and also really cool look but for this i actually intended it to be in 720x480 so what do you do you press on one of the clips right click on it go to pre-compose and here you can call it 720 x480 move all attributes into new composition press ok and let's go here go to composition composition settings let's make the width 720 the height 480 and now let's press S, lower it down so it doesn't get so zoomed in. So we can make it like 37.5, press Ctrl Alt Y. And here we can add these effects. So that looks cool. I know Opium 2 looks really cool. I know Opium 9 also is a really cool look. Ken Carson has used this very similar effect in his music videos. And yeah, just mess around with that. And also, if you guys want to add the Opium setup, for example, 480x270, well, you just need to go to Composition, Composition Settings. And here you would need to set the width to 480 and the height to 270. And now let's lower it a bit more again. So here we can make it like 25. Let's make a new adjustment layer. 
pull this out a bit so we can see the volumes. I have an Opium Freestyle 2 preset. I tried to recreate the whole Opium Freestyle look. Now you see this pops up, so when you go out of here, you'll actually need to scale up by pressing S. So yeah, like let's scale up. And this is basically the Freestyle 2 effect. If you guys know the music video, you know it's very damaged. What I like to do is go to like here that we had made. Actually, let's rename it actually. Let's just rename this to 480 x270 and i want to show you what the opium setup preset does so let's go to opium setup or 80x270 and what i like to do here is now start adding effects on top of here so like now if you add effects it's already damaged and now when it's damaged if you add like an opium 2 it will look very cool uh this is what i used a lot in my opium presets pack trailer so basically the idea is to first set it up in 480x270 and then go out of there and then add effects on top right here in the normal composition my composition settings are like this. I use frame rate of 24 FPS, which will be important later. All right, guys. So now let's move to opium glitches. So for opium glitches, you could be confused. That's why I need to clear it up for opium glitches. So you can press control to Y. Now let's just cut up the adjustment layer to like some size. I don't know. And let's say I want to I wanna add a glitch. So in the opium pack, we have some to choose from. So for example, opium glitch, uh, let's say 2v3. So we add it on the adjustment layer and it starts to glitch. Now we can press U you and we'll see all of our keyframes so make sure to drag them at the start and this will give a really nice glitch i have a couple of recommendations for this glitch so first of all you don't actually need to glitch the whole way it's fine you don't need to glitch until like the, every keyframe ends like you can end the glitch like even like here you can end it i sometimes like to just have a glitch for like three frames like you don't need it for a long time in opium music videos for example freestyle 2 the glitches did last a long time this glitch was basically a remake of the freestyle 2 glitches what i found that they did in the opium freestyle 2 and they really dropped the frame rate really low for the glitches so like you can press ctrl d to duplicate this clip and just cut it up to whatever size you want and here we can add post rise time and here we can make it like two so now it's gonna be very glitchy and it's just gonna glitch basically two frames mostly i sometimes make it to even six really matters whatever you want to do uh, i really recommend to mess around a lot with these glitches like add opium free opium one i even have an opium glitch simple like a lot of these look really cool i also wanted to mess around a bit and i made like some opium poison so if you like these type of effects this pack is amazing for that as well i also made a flicker shake so you can add it and it will just shake your adjustment layer and i would recommend to add this on an adjustment layer that's on top of another adjustment layer what do i mean by that so like let's say i added opium 1v2 on this so this will give a really cool opium vibe because it will just shake and also the colors will change and also it will flicker and i think this is a solid way to get a realistic opium look and now guys we can move on to text all right guys one of my favorite things about this whole pack is opium text effects so what do i mean by that so you can go here look down and here's opium text opium text 720x480 and opium text red 720x480 so what you can do is go here and select text and just draw like this and you can type like opium for example and now you want to pick a cool font so i found a really cool font called mb forever raw it's from the website called the font and it's a really cool font i really recommend to use it i also uh, take this tool and, and drag this to the middle and now let's position it like we can go to align and make it like this press s i like to make it like 400 and here we can start adding opium text effects and we can for example add opium text instantly a really cool text this is how i actually made the want this text from the intro of the video just by adding this nothing else and then i just made it scale up and that's it and if you guys are not satisfied with this text uh, delete the effect right click on it go to pre-compose and here you can just press ok go to pre-composition go to composition composition settings and here we can call it like, make it like 720 and that's 480 Let's press S, scale it down quite a lot. And here we can add Opium Text 720x480. And this will be a more damaged version of the text. And, and also one thing you can do is go out of here. Also press S, scale it up. You need to scale it up here. Maybe not that much. And here we can actually add that damage glint deep glow overlay for a really cool effect so and now we can right click go to blending mode and i think we can go to blending mode and make this to divide and now i can press ctrl to y and here i like to add opium 8 this is how i actually made the pack photo for my opium presets pack very simple you instantly get this cool opium text it also glitches like that in the opium pack i have the opium text project file so in the project file you get this so first the text then you instantly get this and then the red text so this is also a text you can make i made it with flicker shake and opium 6 preset okay i forgot about that one 
So it's you will just need to add opium six and that's it guys that's how you make opium looks opium texts opium glitches i will have definitely more tutorials of this pack in the future and if you guys want you can use code povicas to get five dollars off there will also be updates for the pack and if you guys really like ken carson playboy cordy effects and you have the signal and sapphire plugin then this pack is a must for you and that's about it guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions please let us know and guys have a fun and productive day see ya